Hello my lovelies, welcome to your 30 minute beginner friendly plus size friendly yoga class. My name is Natasha, also known as Nourish Natasha. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. Um, I teach classes and that I make accessible for as many people as I can. I'm an accessible yoga teacher, trauma-informed yoga teacher, plus size informed yoga teacher, and yeah, I just want you to be able to do yoga that feels good for you and your body. So that's what we do here. This is a completely beginner-friendly class. If you've never done yoga before, I encourage you to give it a try. If you've been doing yoga for a bazillion years, I encourage you to give it to give it a try. Everyone is welcome here. Um, I encourage you to have anything that you need for your practice nearby. So I have blocks here. I have a strap behind me. You don't have to have any props, but if you need them for your practice, if you like to use them, I'll be offering variations with those. Um, anything that you need, whether it's a pillow, blanket, bolster, anything that you want that's going to make you feel good in your body, I encourage you to have it here with you. Um, everything I say is an option, not an order. So just do what feels good for you. I'm going to cue you and I'm going to give you variations. But just remember to listen to your body. If something feels a little weird, try it a different way. If, you know, it just, just, if it feels good, stay there. You know, I want you to listen to your body and I want you to have a good time. And I want you to be able to enjoy yoga. And yeah, I think, I think that's it. I will stop rambling. Um, this is going to be a full body flow. So we're going to touch a little bit on everything. And I think that's all I got, my friends. So we're going to get started in Savasana. So we're going to lay back. On our mats, I'm gonna to try to knock, not knock over all my stuff that I have around me. We're gonna lay back on our mats in our savasana. So our savasana is also known as our corpse pose, and I encourage you to take up space here. So for savasana, you can kind of let your arms and legs fall where they want to fall. You can kind of splay them out, taking up space, doing what feels good. You can have palms facing up to receive or palms facing down to get grounded. Ask yourself what you need and go there. Now, if you maybe feel a little funky in your low back, take a moment to bend the knees, bring the feet to the mat, and just tuck that pelvis under, press the low back into the mat, and then extend the legs. That can kind of help, you know, if you have a big booty and you kind of have that gap in between the mats and your back, that helps a little bit. You can also just keep the knees bent here if that feels comfortable. Just asking yourself again, what feels good for me? What would feel good for my body? And once you find yourself in that place, you can settle in here. Option to close your eyes if that feels good. And once you're here in your savasana, just bring your awareness to your breath. So just noticing your breath as it goes in and out. It's not changing anything about it just yet. Maybe on the inhale, you feel that chest expand, the belly expand, taking up space. And on the exhale, everything gently releases, lowers. Maybe you sink deeper into the mat. And you can begin to deepen and lengthen these inhales and exhales. And as you breathe here, just check in. Take inventory of the mind, the body, the soul. Ask yourself, how am I feeling? What do I need today? Are there any tensions, blockages, constraints, identifying those things. So for me, physically, I can tell I'm carrying tension in my shoulders, so I'm going to be aware of it. And then with every exhale, I'm just going to intentionally push those shoulders down, push them into the mat. Maybe it's mental or emotional or spiritual, and that's okay. We're just being observers here. So we're observing those thoughts as they go by. I kind of imagine them as clouds in my mind, just if I'm laying here looking up at the sky, these things are just clouds going by. And I'm practicing non-judgment, non-attachment. And if I find myself getting too attached, I'm just taking a big inhale in. And open mouth, exhale, release it. Now as you continue to breathe here, 
I encourage you to set an intention or a mantra for practice today. Something that means something to you. It could be an I am statement. I am loved, I am capable, I am confident, I am worthy. Whatever it may be. Or it can be an intention for the day if you're maybe using this to start your day. What do you intend to do today? What do you want to embody today? One of my favorites that I write daily in my journal is, everything will turn out even better than I expect it to. Everything will turn out even better than I expect it to. So finding your affirmation, repeat it to yourself either out loud or in your mind, and then we'll seal it with a breath. So big inhale in, and open mouth exhale. We'll gently start to invite in some movement here. So maybe wiggling the toes or wiggling the fingers. Bringing awareness to your body. Gently you can make these movements bigger by maybe rolling out your wrists or rolling out your ankles. And then when you're ready, we'll start to make these movements even bigger. So I'm going to draw my right knee into my chest. Or I'm going to bend it first. I'm going to bend it, bringing it up towards my body. My foot bottom is going to come to the mat. Option to stay right here. Option to open this right knee out to the side. So I'm just dropping the right knee open. Option to then draw the knee deeper into the chest, maybe grabbing a hold of it with your hands or with a strap. Or again, you could use a towel or blanket here. Final option is to reach for the bottom of that right foot and find a half happy baby. Again, there are four different steps. I want you to take the variation that works best for you and your body. Left leg stays long. We're just starting to get into this right hip, into this right leg. Wherever you are, I just want you to breathe into that right hip. Gently, if you're holding onto the foot, you can release, but keeping this right leg pulled in, we're going to take a twist over to the left. So I'm going to inhale here and exhale, draw this right leg over to the left. Now you can bring your arms out to a T position. The left leg can bend if that feels good, or you can keep it straight. You can use this left hand to encourage that right leg over. I'm taking a deep supine twist here. Maybe gazing over that right shoulder and breathing here. Now gently, you can inhale, return to center and exhale, extend that leg out and that will take it to the left. So my right leg extends, my left knee bends, perhaps I bring my foot bottom to the mat. Maybe I open that knee out to the side. Maybe I draw that knee into my chest and grab it with either my hands or my strap. Or maybe I reach for the bottom of my foot. Wherever you are, I want you to breathe. Focus on that hip, that low body. Moving into the lower back. Inhale here, exhale, release. If you're grabbing onto that foot, keeping the knee pulled in. Inhaling here and exhale, taking that twist now over to the right. Now that le right leg can stay long or bend. Arms can come out to a T position and you can gaze over that left shoulder. Breathing here. Inhale, gently return to center, and exhale, 
release. Now you can draw both knees into the chest here. You can keep the knees wide. You can use a strap. Maybe gently rock from side to side, massaging out the low back. And then I'm going to give you two options here. Option one is to just drop over to one side in your fetal pose and then just gently press up. Or option two is you're going to stay here with your knees pulled in and you're going to rock and roll the length of your mat and kind of take your time here, gaining momentum until you can come all the way up. That's a little fun way to get up. Or again, you can come to your side and then gently press up wherever you're at. We're going to transition into our tabletop. So coming to all fours, hands and knees, you can place some extra support under your knees if you'd like, maybe a pillow or a blanket, or you can double up on your mat. And I'm coming to my table. So my shoulder, elbow, wrist are stacked. My hips are stacked over my knees. We're gonna flow here with our cat cow, warm up the spine. So on the inhale, I lift my chin, lift my gaze, open the chest, arching the back. Exhale, I round, dropping chin to chest, storming out the shoulders. Inhale to open. And exhale to round. Now you can take five to seven more of these on your own breath, linking your breath to your movement. And I just encourage you to do what feels good. So maybe you want to rock the hips out from side to side. Maybe you want to take some full body circles. Just ask yourself, what would feel good for me right now? And go there. Just don't forget about your breath. Gently finishing up this last round, returning to a neutral spine. Now we're going to flow through some twists here. We're not going to go all the way down into the twist, but we're going to flow. So I'm going to start with the left arm so you can, I'm going to demo so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. You can start either on the left or the right. So starting with my left hand, I'm going to inhale my left arm open. Exhale, I'm going to go to thread the needle under the right, but I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm going to kind of hover here. And then inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. One more here. Exhale, twist. And inhale, open. Exhale, release. Taking it to the other side, I'm inhaling my right arm up and open. Exhale, going to thread the needle under the other arm, but not dropping all the way down. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Last one. Exhale, twist. And inhale, open. Exhale, release. Now the last thing we're going to do here is focus on the core. We're going to do uh, a little half side plank. So again, I'm going to start on the left just so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm kicking out my left foot from the knee like it's a little kickstand. I'm just going boop out to the side. I'm shifting my weight over to my left, extending the right leg, and then opening up. So a variation of side plank. Option to take a full side plank here if you'd like. Option to lift this right foot up off the mat if you'd like. And I'm going to breathe here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release the foot down releasing back to my tabletop and taking it to the other side. So I'm kicking my right foot out like this little kickstand at the side, shifting my weight over, opening up, maybe hovering this left foot and breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and gently release and come on back down to your table.
Now from this tabletop, we're gonna find a downward facing dog. So I'm gonna tuck my toes and inhale my hips up and back, straightening the legs, pressing palms into the mat, pressing my chest through my arms and towards my thighs. Now your heels do not have to touch the mat, but encourage them down. You can always take your feet a bit wider to honor and make space for the belly and thighs. But most importantly, I'm really pressing down into the mat. Now you can also place your blocks underneath your hands to give your wrists some support here. And I encourage you to find some movement. So maybe pedaling the feet, maybe shaking the hips, or shaking the head, doing what feels good. And then gently coming to stillness, inhale, gaze to the top of the mat, and exhale, we're gonna travel there. So you can take some baby steps. You can take a big old step forward, finding our forward fold. You can keep those feet wide to honor and make space for the belly and thighs. And just ragdoll here, allow yourself to release. You can always keep a micro bend in those knees. You can sway from side to side, you can give a little bounce. Now gently finding stillness, bring those hands to your shins, press into them, inhaling for a halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, you can gently rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, bring those hands to heart center. Take a moment here. We're standing in our Tadasana Mountain Pose with our hands at prayer, Samastitahi. Just take a moment to breathe here. Check in. Ask yourself, how do I feel? Recheck in with your affirmation, whatever it may be. Perhaps it's everything is going to turn out even better than I expected to. Seal it with a breath, big inhale in. Help them out, exhale. All right, my friends, we're gonna flow through some, have some salutes incorporating a chair pose to warm up the hips a bit. So for your chair, you can take it one of two ways. Number one is feet together to touch with a sliver of space in between your heels. Number two is feet hip distance are a little wider to honor and make space for those thighs. I want you to play around with it, see what feels good for you. And once we're there, we're setting up for our chair pose. Inhale, reaching the arms and exhale, sinking into that chair. So I'm taking a seat in an imaginary chair, I'm sitting my butt down. I can still see my toes in front of my knees. My pelvis, I'm not sticking my booty out, my pelvis is tucked. Now you can keep the arms overhead, you can bring them to prayer, or you can even bring them to your hips. We're gonna breathe here for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, release, and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. And exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sink to your Utkatasana chair pose. For five, four, three, two, one, inhale here, exhale, release and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. We got one more, my friends. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sink into your chair, maybe a little lower this time. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. And one, exhale, release and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise to standing. And exhale, hands to heart. Take a moment. Focusing on your breath. All right, my friends. Now we're going to incorporate a lunge into our sun salutation. So I'm setting myself up with my blocks right in front of me because we're gonna need them. Again, you don't have to have blocks, but if you wanna use them, I'm putting them right there. 
I'm standing in my Tadasana Mountain Pose. I'm going to inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now I'm going to bring my hands to my blocks. My right foot comes center. My left foot is going to step back into my lunge. So my hands are on either side of my foot, either on the blocks or on the mat. You can also drop the knee here. If that feels good, just keep that chest and that chin lifted. You can even bring the hands to the thigh or to the hips here. Or again, just hang out on your blocks. My right knee is over my ankle. My back leg is straight on the ball of the back foot. Chin and chest lifted. And I'm breathing here in my lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, I'm going to step forward into my forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Now we're going to do that on the other side, my friends. So from standing, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Left foot comes to center. Right foot steps back. And again, figure out what works best for you here. Hands on blocks, hands on the mat, maybe dropping the knee, maybe lifting to the thigh. Lots of options here, folks. And once you find that place where you feel good, I want you to hang out there and focus on your breath. Inhaling here, exhale, stepping forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise to standing. And exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment here. Take a few deep breaths. And remember your intention or your mantra for this class. Everything will turn out even better than I expect it to. I'm loved, I'm worthy, I'm capable, I'm enough. Sealing it with a breath, big inhale into the nose. Open mouth, exhale. We have one more sun salutation to do on either side and then we're going to cool down. So, same setup, we're going into our lunge. I still have my blocks here, we're just gonna add on a piece. So starting in my Tadasana Mountain Pose, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, my hands are on blocks, my right foot comes center, my left foot steps back into my lunge, and I'm going to set up myself here, option to drop the back knee, and then I'm going to take a twist, so I'm going to bring my left hand, I'm going to bring my block with me, I'm going to place it on the inside of my left foot, see how that feels? You can also keep the block lifted. And then I'm going to inhale my right arm open. So I'm taking a twist here. My right knee stays over my ankle. Maybe gazing up towards that right hand. Breathing here. Take a big inhale. Exhale, release that right hand down. Return to your lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, step that back foot forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. I got one more side to do. Standing in our Tadasana. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, hands to blocks or to the mat. Left foot center, right foot back. Set yourself up here. Find the lunge that works best for you. And then I'm bringing my right hand to the inside of that left foot. Planting my hand. And inhaling that left arm open for my twist. 
and I'm breathing here. Take a big inhale, exhale releases the left hand down, going back to my lunge. Inhale here, exhale, step it forward into your forward fold, and I want you to relax here. So maybe open the feet a bit wider, maybe bend into the knees. Just take a really deep forward fold here. Maybe that's really bending into the knees and just kind of letting yourself ragdoll. Releasing what needs to be released here. Sway from side to side, maybe shake out the hips. Maybe bend into one knee, bend into the other. Gently, you can inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and we're gonna find our way down to the ground from here. So you can press hands into the blocks or into the mat and just gently step back one foot, step back the other. I'm going to take a seat on my butt and extend the legs out in front of me. So from here, legs are extended out. You can keep the feet wide here to honor and make space for the belly and thighs. I'm gonna inhale, lengthen, and exhale, just gently fold forward. You can also use a strap here around your feet. I don't care if you can touch your toes, I just want you to feel good. Releasing the hamstrings, the low back. Maybe inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold a little deeper. And gently inhale, rise, and exhale. We're gonna find our way back to our backs. So take your time, lower gently onto the mat. We'll take some final twists here. So arms can come out to a T position, drawing the knees into the chest. Inhale here, exhale, drop those legs over to the right, maybe gaze over the left shoulder. Allow this to be a release here. Letting go of anything that does not serve you. Bringing it back to our breath. Gently inhale to center and exhale. Take it over to the other side. So drop your knees over to the left now, perhaps gazing over the right shoulder. Gently inhale, center, exhale, release. Now, if there's any final pose that you feel like you need here in your practice, I encourage you to go there. Make this practice your practice. And whenever you're ready to find your savasana, we will end as we started, so taking up space on the mat. Again, any savasana that feels comfortable and good for you, I want you to go there. I encourage you to spend at least five to ten breaths here and remind yourself of your affirmation from the beginning of class. Everything will turn out even better than I expected to. Or whatever your affirmation was. Say it one more time. This is where I will leave you, my lovelies, and I will see you next time.